Hi, today we're going to do the chop suey recipe. Today we have some pork, we have some cornstarch, some salt, some sugar, an onion, some chop suey mix, some chicken broth, garlic, ginger, and some shoyu or soy sauce. Before we begin today's recipe, I'm going to wash my hands with warm, soapy water for about 20 seconds. Now what we're going to do, before we actually start preparing our foods, we're going to get our can and we're going to rinse the top as well as rinse our vegetables. So now that we have finished washing our ingredients as well as the top of our chicken broth can, we can now begin to start our recipe. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to crush a garlic. Now the recipe says that we can use half a clove of garlic. Since I love garlic, we're going to use a whole clove today. So we're just going to get the knife and we're going to smash it a little. Once you smash it, the skin comes off a little bit easier. So we're going to peel that skin into our rubbish bowl. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off this little end. And there we go, our crushed garlic. So now I'm going to just put it aside for later. Next, we're going to get our onion. And today we're only going to use half of a medium onion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the onion in half and we're going to put the other half of the onion away so that we can save that one for later. So with this half of the onion, I'm going to cut off the top throw that in the rubbish bowl and then peel off the top layers of the onion. So today it calls for slicing the onion and what we're going to do is I'm just going to cut the onion in half again and then I'm going to slice, thinly slice the onion. Now you don't have to thinly slice it, you could just regular slice it. If you like chunks instead, that's fine. If you like it thinner, that's fine as well. So today we're just going to thinly slice this. Okay. We're going to put this half of the onion into our bowl so when we're ready to cook our chop suey mix, we'll have it ready for us. Next, we're going to do our ginger. So we don't need the whole ginger. We're just going to get our vegetable peeler and peel off a portion of the ginger so that we can use it for later or use actually a portion of it for the minced portion of our ginger that we need for our seasoning. OK, 
Okay, so I just peeled off a little bit into our rubbish bowl. I'm going to cut off the portion of the ginger that we peeled off the skin. And then I'm going to just thinly slice it so that I can mince my ginger. Okay, so we're just going to thinly slice it. Some people like to grate the ginger. So if you are a person who loves ginger and likes it a little bit stronger flavor, you can also um, grate the ginger. So right now, I'm going to mince it. This ginger is a little bit tougher today. So put your body into it when it's a little bit tougher so you can get the small ginger pieces. Okay, you don't have to be exact. If it comes out bigger, that's completely fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scoop up my ginger and put it on the side since we need it for the sauce. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get our pork. So today we have pork. You can also, the recipe also says for pork or for chicken. But today we're going to use pork. So what we're going to do is we're going to slice the pork into thinly slices. Pork is a little bit harder to cut because as you can see the slices come out a little thick, but that's fine too. You can also use um, ground pork if you would like or ground chicken. You could use regular beef, you could use um, ground beef. If you use ground beef, try to get the leaner portions of meat so that you don't have as much fat. As you can see, this pork is pretty lean. There's not a lot of fat on it. So we're just thinly slicing it. And to, to make sure that everybody has a great big bite of pork, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it a little bit in half. So cut the slices a little bit smaller so that everyone has a little bit portion of the pork in today's recipe. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is now I'm going to put the pork right back into the bowl so that we can have that for later. And I'm going to put away my knife and my cutting board and I'm also going to wash my hands with warm soapy water because I just finished touching the pork. finished with doing all of our chopping and our cutting, now we're going to do the ingredients for the um, seasonings and the gravies for the dish. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to make the seasoning. So today for the seasoning, we're going to use the ginger that we just minced up. For today, we have one and a half teaspoons of ginger. So first, I'm going to get my half a teaspoon of ginger and I'm going to put that into our bowl and I'm going to get the other the one teaspoon and I'm going to scoop that in okay next we have one tablespoon of shoyu or soy sauce and you can use any type of shoyu or soy sauce that you like so we're going to use one tablespoon we're going to put that into our bowl. And then the next ingredient that we have is sugar. So we're going to use a fourth of a teaspoon of sugar. And we're going to put that in. And the last ingredient for the seasoning is salt. However, this is an optional ingredient. So if you do not want to use the salt, you do not have to. So we're going to use a fourth of a teaspoon. 
and we're going to pour that in. Now I'm going to mix this all up. So I'm going to mix the seasoning so that the sugar and the salt can mix in with the shoyu and the ginger. What we're going to do is we're going to make the gravy. So with the gravy, what we're going to first do is get the cornstarch. So the cornstarch, we need one and a half teaspoons of cornstarch. So I'll get my first teaspoon of cornstarch. And I'm going to put it on the side so I can scrape off some of the cornstarch. Get our half teaspoon and do the same. Now our second ingredient is going to be the chicken broth. So what we're gonna do with the chicken broth is we're gonna get our can opener, open the can. We previously washed the top or rinsed the top of the can. So now all we need to do is open it. So once the can is opened, we're going to need a half cup in our liquid measuring cup of chicken broth. So I'm going to measure it. So the half cup, and we're going to put it right into the bowl. Our next ingredient, again, we're going to use shoyu or soy sauce. And again, we're going to use one and a half tablespoons. So I'm going to measure my first half, put it in the bowl, one teaspoon, so that's one and a half teaspoons of shoyu or soy sauce. And our last ingredient will be sugar. So our sugar, we're going to use a, a fourth of a teaspoon. With that, we're going to mix it all up so that the sugar and the cornstarch and everything else in here and this tasty gravy is going to mix up. So now that we have all of our sauces together, what I'm going to do is we're going to get out our skillet. And put our ingredients on the side. Now we have a skillet here today, but you can use your stove in a pot or pan. But today we have a skillet. So we're going to have that heat up. And while we're heating up, I'm going to talk a little bit more about some of the other things that you can use in this recipe as options. So first of all, like I said before, if you don't want to use the pork or the chicken, you can use beef. Um, you could probably even use tofu in here for those of you who don't eat meat. Um, you can also use ground types of pork, chicken, beef. Um, I think you could probably even use shrimp if you wanted to. There's also, for our vegetables, instead of a chop suey mix, you could use bean sprouts or cabbage or even frozen vegetables or canned vegetables if at the time you don't have any of the chop suey mix. Also for onions, if you would like more onions, you could add more. You could use red onions, green onions, um, whatever things that you have on hand. It's always convenient to use those. So now that our pan has heated up, what I'm going to do is we're going to first add our pork. So I'm going to get my tongs and I'm going to just put all of the pork in. As you can hear the sizzling of the pork because the pan is very hot, which is what we want so that we can cook our pork. While that is cooking, next we're going to add our crushed garlic clove. And like I said before, you can use the recipe calls for half. But today, because I love garlic, 
we are going to use coal. Now, if you're a true garlic lover, you can even add more garlic, which is normally what I would do at home. So we're going to mix that around. As you can hear it sizzling, we're going to mix it around so that all of the pork is getting cooked. Not just one side of the pork, but all. All sides of the pork. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the seasoning. So this is our seasoning. And we're going to just throw that all in. All the delicious flavors. Mmm, it smells really good already. So what we're going to do is just make sure that all of the pork and the garlic has some of that flavor all together with, this, with the seasoning. Mmm, that smells really good. So after that, while this is cooking, we are going to add our onions. Personally, I like my onions um, a little bit finer and minced up, so that's normally how I would eat it. And because I'm also a onion lover, I also would add green onions to this right at the end, I think. I would add a little bit more onions. Okay, so now, while that's cooking, we're going to add our chop suey mix, which is what we had already washed previously. So this has watercress, some watercress, some bean sprouts, some carrots, some cabbage in here. So we're just going to throw the whole thing in. Now if you would like to add more vegetables than the chop suey mix and the onions, what you can do is, I like to add a little bit more cabbage in it because I really like vegetables. So add a little bit more cabbage in to give a little bit more um, vegetables to this dish. Okay, so I'm going to cook that up. And the chop suey mix looks like it's a lot for that one package, for that one package. However, once it starts cooking, it cooks down and there won't be as much. So a lot of people are always like, you know, they're telling me, wow, that's a lot of vegetables. But once you cook it, there's not that much left. Okay, so once it's cooking, the last ingredient that I'm going to put, or the last touch to our chop suey recipe, is our gravy. Now before I pour this whole set of gravy in, I'm going to mix it up one more time because the cornstarch has settled to the bottom. So we want to make sure that we get all of it because this is our thickening agent that we're going to put in here so that instead of a soupy, recipe, we're going to have a little bit thicker recipe. Okay, so I'm just going to pour this whole gravy right on top. Right on top. And we're just going to mix all of that up again. Mmm, I'm getting so hungry just looking at it and smelling this delicious dish. So while this is thickening, I'm going to now get my serving dishes that I'm going to serve this delicious dish to. So we have cute little serving trays that we're going to use. Oh, I wish you could be here because this smells really great. Okay. So now we're going to get a little bit of some pork and a little bit of vegetables. There you go, a serving of chop suey mix. Mmm, delicious. 